that he could not see. And ere the lamp of God went out in the temple of the Lord, where the ark of God was, and Samuel was laid down to sleep. That the Lord called Samuel, and he answered, Fear am I. Where you at? <laughs> I stop at there for anybody else. Alright, lead to uh, uh, verse 11. In verse 11? Yeah. Yes. Therefore Eli said unto Samuel, Go lie down, and it shall be, if he call thee, that thou shalt say, Speak, Lord, for thy servant hear. So Samuel went and lay down in his place. And the Lord came and stood and called, as at other times, Samuel, Samuel. Then Samuel answered, Speak, for thy servant hears. And the Lord said to Samuel, Behold, I will do a thing in Israel, at which both the ears of everyone that hears <coughs> it shall tingle. Glory to God. You, you hear what it said? He's going to cause a thing to happen. Mm -hmm. That ear is going to tingle. I mean, when your ears tingle, God gonna be gonna, gonna be confirm some things that you had already heard. Glory to God. Like I said, God wants to move. He said, "I will move heaven and earth concerning us." Amen. He said he he want to bless us. Beyond our belief, he won't do. Well, we got open doors and do things that we would that would even blow our minds. He won't do things that miracles because of his grace and his mercy. Amen. Amen. God said, "My grace is sufficient for thee." You know that's what he what he told. Paul, when Paul prayed three times for the throne in the flesh to be removed, Amen. but God said, my grace and mercy. In all of God's grace and all of God's mercy, mm -hmm. we can never use it up. Mm -hmm. Because God is continually moving. God is continually to pour out his grace and mercy upon us. God want to do some things in our lifetime that we won't, we won't, we won't need. He don't want for us to need for nothing. Amen, amen. He said in the word, I wish above all that we shall prosper and be in health, even as our soul prosper. So God don't want us to be in light. I believe God, it, it hurts God that, that we be in need. We be in want. Oh, he wouldn't have said, I wish above all that we should prosper and be in health. Otherwise, he would have said, I want you to be in like and poor. Wanting your every need day in and day out. He want our every need to be provided. He want us to not being in need in, in no way. He don't want to be in need of food, transportation, housing, even a church. God said he's going to open that door. Even the other week, Josh, when you said something about that church, when that church we went by, he said, even if we don't get that church, we're going to hit one. Mm -hmm. You see, he, he still wants to knock on those doors. Even if that door don't open, he said, go to another one. But there, there a man of God told me, told me that one time. He said, I went to this place. This place wouldn't help me. So I went to another place. That place wouldn't help me. 
I don't remember exactly how many times he said the door was shut, shut, shut in his face. But he said he continually seek for that door to be open. So when you told me that, then old old uh, Jesse Duplantis came on the other night. You know I couldn't go back in the computer and find out where it was at. I got, had to be the enemy hiding it from me. But Jesse Duplantis said he lived in New Orleans. <laughs> he said he was one of the richest men in New Orleans. He said when he, when he had went and bought a jet, he paid, I think he bought that first jet, I think he get the third one and the fourth one that he owned. He said he, when he go to get one, he paid cash for it. That nature and that man is rich. Amen. He said my wife, she have, I think she liked, you know, extravagant things. He said he, he'd go and, and he'd buy her pocketbooks. You know, some they call it another name. But anyway, he said, see, you, you women will, mouth will drop open, they see him. Mm -hmm. You know, he go to little expensive places. Or she'll she say, she liked good things, nice things. And he said, where he lived, I think his dad was, his mom was already passed away, and his dad was in a wheelchair. And he took his dad in his house. It wasn't bad. He said, uh, my, he said, my dad never called me a man. And I think he's in his 60s. He said, Dad always called me boy. <laughs> boy, this is nice. Boy, you did well. He said, Dad, God did it. See, he, he said, I don't get the big head because I have these things. That that man, he, he real comical in his, in, his, in his preaching. But he, he he's on time, he, 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 he's, he hear, you tell he's hearing from God. The thing that he says, the thing that he have, otherwise he wouldn't have what he, what he, what he have if he won't obey in God's word. Mm -hmm. He wouldn't have that house that he said his dad wanted to go upstairs. He said, Dad said, son, I'm not able to walk up the stairs. He said, Dad, you have to walk upstairs. We can go in the elevator. He said, boy, you got an elevator in this house? <laughs> See, yes, sir. So he pushed his dad in the elevator and they went upstairs. He said, boy, this nice. You know, he said, he was so proud of his daddy being happy for what he had. And I said, boy, boy, you have this. He said, this other black man came there to see his house. And I think the guy, I can't remember what the guy's name was. Anyway, him and his wife came in. And he said, oh, the, the black, I think it was a black guy. He said, honey, I let you down. He said, no, don't you never say that. You didn't let it out because your house ain't as big as mine. Keep living. Keep living. That's and keep believing. Oh, keep pressing forward. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. See, you ain't came short. You, you didn't let it down. Say, oh, I guess the house ain't living is bad, but just ain't as big as Jesse's. Yes. Jesse may be older, but God have a big blessing. Because my house is not as big as it's Josh's house. Amen. God said, pray me where you are. Amen. Oh. God said, if you, if you appreciate me where you are. Amen. That's right. And Amen. praise Amen. me where you are. Hallelujah. I will do greater Thank things you, for Jesus. you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Glory to God. Like Raphael, he said, you can start out with a Mustang. Mm -hmm. Well, you start out with something else. I'll give you a little car name, what you had. <laughs> you, knew, you move from that to a, to a Mustang. Amen. God said, you keep blessing and praising him where you're at. Yes. Amen. So that next vehicle that you want is on the way. Amen. You said, keep believing, mm. trusting, and pressing forward. Because in God, we're we going we gonna, to we gonna have trial. We're going to have tribulation. We're going to have opposition. If you don't have opposition, that means you're not going the right way. We have to go against the grain concerning God. Glory to God. So I, I thank God that they church that. Amen. God is moving Amen. for you and I. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Amen. Um. God said he wanted us to appreciate him and thank him for what he what he what he's doing in the last days. Mm -hmm. Our 
child is in our church is his only way. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. But God said he wants us to believe it. No, Glory to God. Amen. I read down in, in, on some paper. I don't know where I put it. I think it may be. Well, it's in here or not. Anyway, I had a, 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 a call or a piece of Where did I put that man? I had it this morning. Somebody was looking at it. I believe God for a church. Do you want to know? Yeah. Second Kings 4, 1 and 2. I believe in four homes. And at my at my at my job, I have that in my in my, in my job. I believe God for a house. And I mostly look at it every day. I said, God, I'm still believing you for that house. Amen. You got to constantly see it. Amen. If you don't have it. God, I'm believing you for this. I'm believing you for that. When we constantly believe God and say it with our mouth, I'm going to have and not want. Yes. Amen. I'm going to have this and not want. Amen. This person will be sitting beside me and I won't have to pray for it no more. Our prayer can go where we can't go. Amen. Our prayers can open doors for us that where we can't go. Amen. Because prayer, if Jesus prayed, the Son of God, bow his knees and pray, how much more should we? Glory to God. Amen. If we pray Thank you, and seek his face, the sky is the limit. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. God graces his mercy, church. God graces his mercy. If we can believe anything, believe God's word. Amen. For oh, God's grace will carry us through. Yes. In his mercy. But we got to believe God for a breakthrough. I believe God that we, have, that we should have these things that we desire. And I believe it will be many days hence. Amen. In God time. Amen. I don't know if it will be this year or next year. Well, this year is by end. God say, I'm still going to do some things in this last month. Amen. This is the 12th month. I think maybe the 8th or ninth day. God said, look for it. Praise Jesus. Each and every day. Amen. <clears throat> look for a blessing. If you and I look for it, we're going to receive it. Amen. Glory to God. Praise God. So give God praise. Hallelujah. Yeah. Glory. Lord, I wish I could sing. Mm -hmm. Oh, I wish we had some, some music. Mm -hmm. oh. What's the song? Huh? What's the song? Oh. Oh, I just get back to sing. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's it. <laughs> Praise God. Well, Josh can sing. Mm -hmm. you know it. Mm -hmm. Lord to God. God has a gift. Where for you to sing? I said he he's if do anybody have a song that you that's in your head? Oh Jesus, I do have a song, but oh. don't don't quote me on y'all. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I was trying to get together <coughs> Christmas stuff for mm -hmm. Christmas. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And Glory. in the middle of service for some reason it might be just good because it's the only one I could find that had music and um that has a song yesterday. Mm -hmm. Glory. It's um Oh, holy night. Don't, don't quote me on my Please sing along. Everybody knows